Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Natasha Lajali. Welcome or welcome back, it depends. Well, today um, I'm doing another schoolwork um, thing, <laughs> even though I know it sounds pretty boring because it's school stuff, but it's actually pretty fun. Last thing that I did was planning a birthday party. This one is actually cool because it's a family outing. We're planning a family outing. What do you have to do? What are you? What are the venues where you have to look? We have to look at a museum, a zoo, an amusement park, an ice skating rink, and a movie theater. So, what do you want to start with? So first, um, we have to start with. Well, we want to start with. I want to start with. I think um, amusement park sounds really excited, but I think we're going with the order. So we're going with museum. So which museum? Do you have a museum in mind? Yes. Um, what was it called again? Um, science museum. The one that I went to for my first grade field trip. It was so much fun. Yeah, I learned about so many things like cockroaches. I know that sounds gross, but they were actually pretty cool. And like you got to feel like a rabbit's fur. You got to explore the space shuttle. It's so cool. So yeah, I think we're starting with a museum. Yeah, Science Center. That's what it was, the Science Center. So you have to put for each adult, it's, let's put $17 because $16.90 is gonna be too hard for you. Okay, so uh, we figured out a way to put $17. So now we're gonna do it again. Dollars, 17. And look for the child, how much is it for a child? Let's say thirteen dollars. So now do your math. Seven plus three is ten, so twenty dollars, right? Mm hmm First add seven plus three, it would be a zero. And then you put the one on top of the one, and then you add it three times, so it would be thirty. Okay. Thirty plus seventeen. Seven plus zero is seven. So three plus one is four. So forty seven dollars. So now we have a zoom. I'm so excited, the amusement part is next. Okay, um, that didn't take long, the previous one. So, we are going to the San Diego Zoo, which is a good zoo, because we've been there before, and it's like really fun to explore, and I haven't been there in a while. So, mm -hmm. it has 4.7 stars. Can you look at what it says? Voted number one zoo in the world. Holy moly! Okay. The world, not America. So that's a lot. One day pass, fifty-six dollars for adults. So dollars fifty-six, five six. Enter and then forty-six, four six. Enter. Okay, so now do your grand total. Okay, let's see if I can do it without saying it out loud. Okay, this is called mental math. Easy stuff for the fifth graders. Okay, so what do we have? We got one hundred two dollars for fifty six plus forty six. Two plus um it's it's pretty easy for the third graders. It takes a while for me um because like I'm not a pro yet, but like you might hear me mumbling, but like that's me trying to concentrate. Yeah, I need a paper. <laughs> Okay, we did. Okay, we got a paper for all my math, cause I am dumb right now. My brain is being dumb right now. Two plus six is eight. Zero plus five is obviously five. One hundred fifty-eight. <laughs> One five. Eight is a twenty. That's how much it costs to go to the zoo for three people. Yeah. Okay. No. Here's the hard, no, the easy part. Where do you want? Kind of the hard, because like, uh... Which amusement part do you want? Can now, for some reason, I want to go to SeaWorld. But you know I'd rather go to Disneyland. Disneyland. Play okay. with your tickets. Hey. Adult is 129. Oh my gosh. Child is 122. Oh my gosh, that is so big of a difference. Seven bucks on the discount. Disneyland. Okay. And the grand total, don't look at the board because it's written right there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pretend that I didn't see it. And I'm going to do the math like I pretended that I didn't see it. 
I almost wrote seven thingy, but it was um, seven minus two, or plus two, because that equals nine. This is a two, two plus two. You forgot two. Five. And then you have to add one more ticket. Two, five, one. Plus the add one ticket. Plus one, two, nine equals one plus nine. It's obviously ten. I mean, if you can't do this, then I'm um, sorry, but you are, um, your brain needs more work. Three, and the total, I definitely didn't see in there, is 380. <laughs> yeah, because I definitely didn't see the answer. <laughs> okay, it's okay. long ice skating. Ice skating. $10 per person. It doesn't seem to have a different price. Okay, this is at least cheap. But then you have to ask the rental of your skates. So it's 14 basically. Four, enter one, four, enter one, four, enter. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Yeah, do your math. Or you what? Why do you think I'm that dumb? I don't know. 14 plus 14 is 28. Okay. So 28 plus 14 is not 100. I was going to say 100 for some reason. It's yes? Yes. Okay. So I was dumb for a second. But like I'm not dumb anymore. Oh, extra for Dango. It's a movie. Um, and then the we'll last sucked. one. You're gonna go watch which movie do you want to go watch this weekend? I wanna watch um here let's see if you can't guess this. The Adam Family da -da 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 -da. I know this gets very annoying. Says the person who sits in front of me. Um <laughs> Okay, price. Yes! Okay. See the adult is twelve dollars. Child is nine dollars. Oh my gosh, another really hard one that will get my brain to think. Okay, so first answer is 21. Second answer is, okay, now this is the part where I have to think because I only answer some questions. 12 plus, two plus one. So the answer is, right? Mm -hmm. $33. Okay, well, is that it? So decide okay. which housing provides the best value. What do you mean? The least amount? <laughs> which do you think is the best for the money? Oh my gosh, so hard. It definitely isn't the movie. Now, if you couldn't tell, um, I was being sarcastic. And yes, it is the movie because it's only 33 bucks. And then the other cheap... And then the other ones hurt really cheap, you know. So but what you have to think is like the movie is like two hours, maybe. And then if you go to ice skating, maybe it's also two hours. Now if you go to the zoo, you pay that for many hours. Oh my god, hallelujah! Maybe we should do a graph per hours of fun in per day and see what is the best for your value. What do you think? Oh my god. Okay, everyone, so we did the math, and so we got how much um, hours, or we estimated how many hours we'd spend at the venue, and so, um, I'm trying to get these computers on, um, okay, so yeah. and, and then we also got the total cow cost for the family, so, per hour, I mean, for the family, and so, so, um, here are the costs for the movie. It's $16 per hour, um, which is about two. I think we're going to watch the, the movie for two hours. And then the ice skating rink, I think we're going to ice skate for about two hours. And that's $21 per hour. And then the amusement park, we're probably going to spend 10 hours. Because, like, you know, um, the light show and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's $38 per hour. And then the zoo. Three dollars per hour? Thirty-eight. Oh. Um so and then the zoo. 
um, we estimated that we were going to spend eight hours, and each hour is nineteen dollars. And and then the museum, um, we estimated that we were going to spend four hours there, and each one each hour costs eleven dollars and seventy five cents. At nineteen dollars and seventy five cents. So which one do you think is the better deal for your money? I mean, not obviously <laughs> the museum. It's the museum because I thought it was going to be the movie. But since it's per hour and they equal your total, it's actually going to be the museum. Because it's at $11.75 and then the movie is $16.50. So it turns out that it's going to be less money spent per hour. It's complicated stuff for the kindergartners and easy stuff for the fifth graders. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. So yeah, in two days, if I can get to 300 subscribers, then that would be my goal. And also, let's try to get this video to 250 likes, then that would just make my day. And yeah, uh, and don't forget to hit the ringity ding dong ding bell. Um, next to the subscribe button all in red it looks something like this so yeah hit that and hit the notification bell to stay notified whenever i post a new video new video and bye love you